Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Soul Light Hypnotherapy. My name is Kirsten. I have your love of tarot and oracle card spread all laid out for you for the month of April 2017. Um, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you to all of my uh, coming back subscribers and welcome to all my new subscribers. Uh, my intention is to give you as much guidance as possible so that you can um, navigate your love life in the best way possible and for the highest good of all concern. Um, there's been like a rush of negative comments, I think overall, not just for me, but for a lot of YouTube readers. And um, it's, it's getting, it's, it's, it's starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Um, these readings take a lot of energy to do. They're not, they're not just arbitrary things that we're saying. And there's a lot of pressure, if you care, to say appropriate things and not to give anyone wrong information, but also to be honest and to be clear and not blow smoke up your rear end. So um, sometimes these readings that will not come out as uh, sugar-coated or butterflies and roses, and, and you just have to ease up on us readers, you know, if you don't get the reading that you want to hear. Maybe uh, this particular month, I'm not the reader for you, and Divine Spirit is speaking through another reader for you. And that's what general readings are all about. They really are reaching, um, they're designed to reach so many different people, but one reader can only uh, convey so many uh, situations. So uh, that's why it's spread out. And it's a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon sign, check your rising sign, or um, there's so many beautiful readers on YouTube. Please try one of those. And don't take out, <laughs> take out, um, your negative reaction to maybe something that I say or something you don't want to hear on me. I'm just the messenger. So that's just my little rant, and I hope <laughs> people understand where it's coming from and appreciate that this reading is heartfelt. I mean, it try, I, my intention is definitely not to um, upset anybody. It's to um, bring understanding to people, and that's what tarot is all about. So that being said, let's get started. Um, but I've got the uh, <clears throat> I got a nine card layout, but with an outcome card, and I'm using playing cards to clarify. Uh, starting off in the present situation for you, Scorpio, uh, with the seven of swords at the top left, combined with the five of diamonds. This card is telling me that. Um, a lot of you are wondering, what's going on? What's happening? There's something hidden. There's something not being said. Something not that you're not seeing. Something's not clear to you. Some of you haven't been communicating with a loved one or with a potential love interest. Uh, you're wondering, how are they doing? What have they been up to? And this can play out in, you know, different ways depending on your energy. It could be, oh, you know, I wonder how they're doing. Or it could be, I wonder what are they doing? How are they doing? What what are they up to? You know, suspicious. So I, th I see a lot of you have have an inclination to, since you don't know what's going on, to think the worst. Okay? With the Five of Diamonds here, uh, clarifying it, this card indicates that um, you're probably going to be hearing from this person soon or you're going to take an initiative to speak with this person um, because this card talks about a meeting so maybe you'll take an initiative to set up a meeting or to meet with this person to reach out um, it also indicates that whatever is unclear Whatever you need to understand that uh, the Five of Diamonds says that uh, there is a way to get the information that you need. So a uh, resolution is possible to get the information that you need. And that also the situation can be made better. Okay, so Five of Diamonds is a good omen that you can make the situation better. <clears throat> improve the communication or improve the status of the relationship. Now, um, 
Linking below to the Ten of Diamonds, I feel like some of you will be going through uh, this. This this is a card of completion and renewal. So I feel like some of you are deciding whether or not a relationship, or have already decided, because it's kind of in the past position, that um, you no longer want to deal with someone. You know, maybe you're tired of waiting for a relationship to develop or to progress. It's been stalled. Um, it hasn't, you know, been progressing the way you wanted it to or the way that you expected it to. Um, and some of you are taking a break. I've decided to take a break, and I don't know if you even told your partner that you were taking a break, or this is vice versa, you know, because it's a general reading. It could be vice versa. But I'm reading it from your perspective right now. Excuse me. Some of you... Um, probably decided in the past that you were taking a break from this relationship and maybe you didn't tell your partner that. So for them, communication just became stagnant. But the reason why is because the relationship wasn't progressing the way you wanted it to. And for some of you, your love life has been stagnant and you're ready to attract a new uh, partner uh, into your life. You're ready to uh, get out there again. And make something happen. And I'm getting that information by linking the Ten of Diamonds with the Magi card that is below the Seven of Swords. Okay. Um, so I kind of got a little sidetracked there. But talking about that Seven of Swords, you know, you're not communicating with someone. Um, and then this Ten of Diamonds, meaning that there's a completion or a renewal uh, that you have set into motion with this Magi card next to it. So this tells me that whatever problem you're having with someone or whatever your situation is that is proving to be a dilemma for you in your love life, um, that it's going to cease to be a problem in some way. The relationship will either begin to develop and progress better in the near future and in a faster way, or you will decide to end it and a new romance will come in to replace it very fast. Of course, in order for this to happen, Scorpio, you have to make yourself available and put yourself out there to meet new people. Moving over now to the, um, <clears throat> the center position at the top, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Reverse Two of Hearts. But first, I want to link. I want to link the uh, the Five of Diamonds to the Knight of Pentacles. Let's see what is Five of Diamonds saying. Knight of Pentacles um, and the Two of Hearts, they're in the position of your challenge. So this is the challenge that you're dealing with for the month of April. And with the Five of Diamonds, it's kind of telling me part of that challenge is that you want to make a situation better. You want to uh, improve a relationship or improve the communication of a relationship or communication between you and a new uh, partner or get to know someone better, right? It's all about finding out information. You want to find out more. You want to find out who they are. You want to find out what they're doing. You want to find out what their motives are and what their agenda is. Because it's not clear to you. Whatever your situation, it's not clear to you. You want to find out where your relationship is going what they want, and um, because if you have been involved, the relationship just hasn't been moving. This 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 Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight. He's actually at a standstill, right? He's looking and he's deciding what his next move is going to be. So this, this person is a very slow energy. And if this is a person that you're interested in, this could be uh, Earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. So, um, for you, this person might just be taking too long to make up their mind or to activate the relationship in the way that you want it, or to share with you who they, who they are. So there's some sort of suspicion on your part with that Seven of Swords or a curiosity to know, and it's very strong. You have been really wondering about 
uh, the situation or this person. So here the challenge is to wait. There's, there's a waiting and a patience that's needed. Um, waiting for a person to arrive, waiting for a person to communicate and to share. That's what you've been doing. You've been waiting. You've been waiting. And I guess you have to wait some more. As far as who this person is, I feel like this person has some really good qualities and you like spending time with them. Or you will like spending time with them if it's someone new. I kind of feel like this is someone that you already know. That you've already dealing with. Um, if sex has already happened between the two of you, I feel like it was good sex. And uh, there was there is a mutuality of interest that you share. So it was a pretty positive coming together. So what's the dilemma? Why has nothing been happening? And for some of you, you're asking yourself with this Seven of Swords, uh, how can I activate love and romance in my life or in my relationship? Because it's, it's, it's dull. It's not happening anymore. It's something happened and it's stalled or blocked. So how can I reactivate it? Or how can I activate, for those of you who are single and want, want romance in your life, you're asking yourself, how can I activate romance into my life? <clears throat> How can I find that, uh, what I need? How can I build what I need? How can I attract what I need to keep and to have a successful relationship? The Two of Hearts Reverse is telling me, um, because it represents romantic holdups, it's, it's actually just confirming what this Knight of Pentacles is, because it represents romantic holdups or disharmony or an imbalance in a relationship because you're not on the same page or your timing has been off. You know, when you're ready, they're not ready. When they're ready, you're not ready. Um, but the Two of Hearts reverse is also, you know, says that this is an, a temporary situation. So try not to color it too negative because there's a tendency for you to do that. For you to think the worst and for you to get kind of negative. So it's saying don't color this situation um, too dark. It's uh, You've got the sun in the reading, so it's not... It's not what you think it is. It's not what you think it is with that Seven of Swords. Uh, Seven of Swords is a presumption that is most likely wrong. Okay? Now moving forward to the uh, Four of Wands at the right, upper right. We have the Four of Wands, and there's this little girl. She's uh, jumping for joy because Daddy or Big Brother or Uncle or somebody... Um, built her a, a tree house and gave her a stamp of approval. And this is in the position of your feelings <clears throat> in the near future. Okay? Or, sorry to take a sip of wine there <laughs> on my Sunday afternoon. Or, um, how you got in, into the situation here. So, so what this card is telling me, um, because I'm linking it with the Nine of Clubs reverse from a playing card deck, and also with the Seven of Swords, okay, I'm linking it with this whole top row, really, Seven of Swords and the Nine of Clubs. I feel like, because like I said it before, I feel like you're going to take an initiative, most likely it'll come from you, um... That's not hard set, but most likely it will come from you to set up a meeting or to communicate with this person soon. And um, when that happens, um, there's advice here for you not to come at this person with your negative suspicions or with an impulsive reaction, okay, with that Knight of Wands below. Don't be impulsive and don't be negative when you communicate with them that you're uncertain of... Uh, the stability of the relationship, that you're uncertain of where the relationship is going, that you're uncertain of uh, what they've been up to because maybe there hasn't been communication in a while or the relationship has been stalled. You want to come at them not in a negative way. Instead, um, because if you do, if you do, it would be bad. And it would probably lead to more stagnation, more frustration, and more delays. So instead, um, try coming at them 
with the attitude, a fresh attitude, with this Empress card in the center of, uh, I, I need to know what's going on, you know, fill me in, where, where's this relationship going, and then let them fill you in, and really listen, really listen to the nuances of what they're saying, because I feel like this person might speak in nuances, they might hint at what they want, and let you fill in the blanks, but I want you to turn tables, and make them tell you exactly what their agenda is, okay? Don't, don't, don't come at them by telling them what you've been thinking because what you're thinking is most likely wrong and it will cause, it will aggravate the situation. Now, for some of you who are um, interested in someone, and this could be someone new, maybe someone that you meet online or someone that you meet at a party, um, for some reason, the communication has been stalled in getting to know this person and who they are and what it is they want. You know, like if it's online, what it, you people go online, they go on online for all different kinds of reasons. They go online to meet relationships or they go online just to have romps in the hay. So there's like, maybe you have, there is someone that you're interested in, but... Um, your timing has been off and you haven't really been able to communicate and get clear on where, where they're coming from. So I see you taking more of an initiative to set that up, possibly maybe meeting them for coffee, meeting them in some sort of social, make sure it's social if this is someone new that you don't know, in some sort of social uh, gathering where there's lots of people, maybe a farmer's market or, you know, I guess some of you might and even go to the movies or might meet and then end up going to the movies. Um, I just kind of see that with this this sun card here. Um, so I see you setting up a meeting with this person that you're interested in, maybe for drinks, uh, maybe at a farmer's market, or to see a movie. And I feel like you're going to have a really good time and a lot of fun because this little, you know, the little kid above the Knight of Wands, she's so happy. I think you're really going to have a good time and they're going to, you know, they're going to like you too because he's got his thumbs up. You know, you're both going to be happy when you meet each other. For those of you meeting someone new. Yay! And sparks could fly. They could they could fly quickly, guys. There's going to be an immediate attraction, and uh, that's more than possible. This meeting, this immediate attraction, and uh, it might be because there's so many wands cards here in this uh, right column. You got the Four of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Six of Wands, and then the Sun and the Empress next to it. So I see like a lot of passion. So a little caution there. Whatever happens, it could happen fast. It goes down fast, okay? So with that Seven of Swords in the reading, I feel like there's a little caution warning here. Slow down. The attraction's going to be really strong. And, um... Whatever your agenda is in meeting this new person, or whatever your agenda is, Scorpio, in whatever your situation is, um, it looks like you're going to achieve that goal in the month of April, and it's going to happen fast, okay? Uh, I hope that made sense, because I kind of combined a couple of things there to sum that up real quick. All right, let's go down to the uh, middle row in the left corner. We've got the magician. We got the Ten of Diamonds, the Magician, and the Four of Spades, linking that to the Empress card in the center. So let's see, what is the, what are they telling me here? I feel like with the Ten of Diamonds linking the Seven of Swords to the Magi, and I may repeat myself, guys, because as I read each section, it kind of builds on the last one, so I might repeat myself again, so I can keep the story straight. That's just my style of reading. Um, I feel like with the Ten of Diamonds, it signifies completion. So, um, and I mentioned that before, some of you are deciding to, will decide to end a relationship because it's not progressing the way you wanted it to. 
Um, and when you do, I think that if you put yourself out there, a new relationship can come in fast. You have to put yourself out there with that Magi card. Um, or, uh, let's see what else. And, uh, or you will initiate a, an increase in communication with your partner. It comes from you. And also the decision is is from you, whether or not a relationship continues, thrives, whether or not it, um, however it flows, it, the decision is really up to you, Scorpio. Also, I want to say here that um, with the Magic card and the Seven of Swords above it, that, I mean, I just told you not to come at your partner or this person that you're interested in with suspicion. But I do, it's not that I don't feel like your suspicion is unfounded because it's sitting on top of the Hierophant and your suspicion, any of the Seven of Swords and the, and the Magi is a trickster. The Magi can fool you. So I don't want you to think that you don't have reason to be suspicious. You may very well have good reason to be suspicious. It's just that with the Hierophant card below the Magi, you just need to go about, um, Getting this information from your partner in a wise way, not in a foolish, impulsive way with that Knight of Wands, okay? Use cunning. The Seven of Swords is a card of cunning. So use your cunning. And really listen. Four of Spades that's uh, between the Magi and the Empress. It says, I feel, it says, um, this is kind of telling me what your partner could be saying to you. I feel like they will say to you, take it easy. What's the rush? Slow down, you know? I I just want things to to happen naturally. I, I just want things to happen in its own time. I don't want to rush anything. And I think for you, Scorpio, this might just be a little bit too organic. For you, you just really want to know what's up. I think you need you need solid answers. Not no, you know, oh, if it happens, it happens. You know, you don't you don't like to come at life that way. You're um you're more definitive than that. Okay? And this person I think is kind of vague. Although I think they're a good person. I just think that they're being really vague with you. I hope that makes sense to someone out there. So you're going to kind of say, you know, you're, you're feeling like this, that's too organic. You want to know what's really up. You want to know if there's commitment in the future. You want to know where you stand, where the relationship is going. You want to know what this person is truly after. I also feel that this card is speaking to those of you who will meet someone new to move into it with caution. Uh, learn more with that Seven of Swords above Magi. Learn more. I'm sorry, Seven of Swords above the... Um, the four of, of spades. Learn some more about this person before you rush in to a sexual relationship. It also further serves um, what I said earlier, that it's important to remain calm when you have a meeting or a discussion with your partner or pin person of interest, and don't let your, your suspicions get the best of you. Because it will, you know, the four of spades is basically saying what I just said before. It will cause uh, anxiety and frustration. So there is a need to guard against that impulsive reaction. You got that message twice. Center. We've got the empress. I pulled the fool for clarification. It's no big deal. It just means the empress is saying you need a fresh outlook and a new perspective. Your presumptions are wrong. Or in any case, um, you have a misunderstanding I'm not saying that they're not doing anything. Just saying whatever you're presuming it is, you don't have the right answers. So clarity is needed. Go about it with a fresh approach. The Empress is about fresh new beginnings. So is the Fool. Fresh new beginnings. It also means new love is coming in for, for a lot of you. New love. Yay! Finally! Ah, I'm Scorpio. So. <laughs> um... Okay, let me not get excited. Where am I? So, yeah, I'm looking at this Empress, but at the same time, I'm looking at this Knight of Pentacles. And so I'm kind of 
it's all in the same line. The Knight of Pentacles is this person of interest. This, maybe this earth sign. could be an earth sign or someone with earth sign qualities. Um, so I'm kind of feeling, and I kind of got a little bit of what he was saying to you with that fourth spade. So I feel like I'm kind of in his energy right now. I feel like he wants to take, th take things slowly. He wants to progress slowly. He wants things to move naturally. Um, but he also wants to be intimate with you. Or she. This is a general reading. They also want intimacy at the same time. And um, and then for some of you with this Knight of Pentacles below, you can see if you can see uh, look at the card closely, it's um, two people working in a garden and they're both enjoying themselves under the day sun and there's lots of fruit, there's lots of money, there's lots of um, fruits of their labor right are here right. And they're both enjoying themselves, they're, but they're also doing their own thing. They're independent of one another. So they share mutual interests, but they're not really 100% um, a team. So, I mean, just for me right now, I just feel like that kind of says to me, this person may want to openly date. I don't think that they're opposed to having a serious relationship because the Hierophant is here and the Knight of Pentacles is someone who's pretty steady and reliable. I just think that they're not ready for it right now. Um, and, or they, they just need more... They need more clarification before they can make that commitment to you. So right now, they uh, want to openly date or want some sort of freedom in the relationship. Um, that's what's vague. It's, it's, it's unclear exactly how that should manifest to you, you know, and that's what you need to get clear on. Or this could be how you're feeling, Scorpio, because it's a general reading this, and it's your reading. So this, these could be your feelings. He, maybe he wants more of a serious relationship and maybe you want to openly date because, Maybe there's something about this person that's just not spontaneous enough for you or not exciting enough for you, you know? You can't quite put your finger on it. This person has a lot of great qualities, but for some reason you can't get yourself moving on this relationship. So that could be, you could be coming from that point of view. We're already 27 minutes in. How do I do it? I think because I try to speak a little bit more slowly than other readers. Anyway, you guys will have to let me know if this is annoying. Um, maybe I won't read through each card in the future. But back to what I was saying. Um, I feel like whatever, whoever has these feelings, it needs to be voiced in this meeting, this communication that you're going to be having that you might most likely initiate. It needs to be voiced. It needs to come clear so you guys can know where you're at and get on the same page. The Empress card is also about, like I said before, a fresh new beginning. It, could, it indicates new cycle in a relationship. The progress, I think that for some of you, um, like I said before with that Five of Diamonds, there is a solution, there is a way to make this uh, relationship that maybe hasn't been, has been stagnating um, better. And I think once you have this, this communication, this meeting, I think that progress is going to start happening really fast. For those of you who want to continue with the relationship, and for those of you who want to end the relationship, you're going to meet someone new right away if you put yourself out there. There's a warning to be careful of pregnancy because it's next to the Three of Hearts. The Three of Hearts is a very fertile card. The Empress, she's, you know, most decks, not in this one. In most decks, she is pregnant, so, um, Yeah. And the sun card, too, is, is could be a sign of pregnancy. So if you don't want that, use that Knight of Pentacles protection because he's got his shield up, right, his little coin. It's actually a shield in some decks. So, you know, use protection, guys. We don't want to get pregnant. Because I see sex in the near future, folks. Coming up fast, coming up strong, coming up beautiful. Yay! <laughs> So, um, I told you about the Three of Hearts, meaning that it means fertility, um, and I told you that I see passion coming soon. With this Knight of Wands, um, I think a new love is coming in soon, or the relationship that you're in is going to become more passionate. I think once you have this communication, um, 
that that this person is going to, you know, come on strong with an offer to be intimate. Hmm. It's getting a little convoluted here. I'm seeing a lot of different scenarios, though. But I need to just stick with a couple. So this card also, the Empress, also represents social settings. So, um, like I said before, if you're meeting someone new in April, if you end up meeting someone new, make sure it's in a social place. Or you can meet this someone new when you're out socially at a party or with friends. The Three of Hearts talks about good communication um, and that becomes unstalled. So this, this meeting is going to definitely will lead to more relaxed attitudes and will set your mind at ease. As far as if you listen closely and you don't come at them with your suspicions and you leave the, the um, atmosphere open for a free dialogue, that you can, communication could be really good and it will ease your mind when you find out where this person really is coming from. And then feelings could get renewed or reignited for an old relationship. Or, like I said before, if you're meeting someone new, the Empress is a card of attraction. She's really beautiful. And um, so I see this person being instantly attracted to you, and you're going to be instantly attracted to them. And um, anything can happen, guys. Anything can happen. Don't let yourself get uh, act too impulsively. <laughs> and looking at, and looking at this card further, I feel I'm getting like a little message here. I feel like the key to this reading, Scorpio, is that the Empress has has it all. She has everything. She doesn't have to do anything to make anything happen. All she has to do is think it, and it comes to her. Right? She's that full of abundance. She's that full of, you know, beauty and gifts and she has everything. And then with the Magi next to her, she knows how to make what she wants happen. Sorry, that's my dog. So, um, don't worry about what your partner's interests are. I think a lot of you are too concerned about what they, where their agenda is, what their agenda is. I think that the message for you to really pull out of this reading, Scorpio, is know what your agenda is. What is it that you want? What is it you truly want? And I think a lot of you want a serious relationship. You want a relationship that is founded, that is stable, that is secure, that is loving, that's passionate, that's financially prosperous. You know, that's your agenda. So you need to go out, go after that, you know, with, with determination. And um, because the timing is really good for you to go after what you want right now. You got the sun, you got the, um, the six of wands, the nine of pentacles, the magi, the empress. You got some really great cards um, that are really supporting you so that you can achieve success in your goals or your agendas. So know what you want. You stop being vague with yourself. You get clear. And go after it with the Knight of Wands. Go for it. Stop hesitating with that Knight of, Pen Knight of Pentacles. You know, this might not be for love. This might be just in general somebody needs to hear this. Maybe they have business plans or goals that they want to achieve. The time is right. You need to go for it. Make it happen. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. Now, let me see. Where am I at? I'm looking at this uh, Ace of Diamonds here, even though I'm in the center of the reading at the Empress. But I'm looking at this Ace of Diamonds, linking to this Nine of Pentacles, which is below the Empress. And the Ace of Diamonds is about increase. Okay? You usually increase in money, but here's the love reading. So there's an increase, I believe, in communication between you 
and whoever your person of interest is. They're going to start after you have this dialogue with them and you guys get clear on where you're at and what you want. I think they're going to start pursuing you with more fervor or communicating with you more. I think that they're going to take the brakes off and start moving faster into this relationship. They may be inviting you out more um, on dates or spending more time with you in mutual pursuits. But uh, overall, I think that they're, they'll want to uh, um, increase activity with you. Increase activity with you, and it could be sexually as well. So I, it also feel, I feel like you're getting an offer of love. I'm looking at the Nine of Pentacles now below the Empress. I feel like you're going to be getting an offer of love, but I see it as more of a sensual offer. But you could misread this offer, this sensual offer, that you might most very well, you, you may very well comply to. But you might misread it with that Seven of Swords, guys. You might misunderstand it and put more credence on it than what it is. Thinking that, oh, now we're in a relationship again, or now this relationship is, is firm, on firm footing. No, this is just a moment in time. This is just a snapshot, this passion the sensual offer, okay? That's just a moment. I'm not saying you shouldn't enjoy it. I think you will. You got that four of wands up there, and she's really happy, that little girl. Just don't make more out of it with this Hierophant card than it is. Because the Hierophant wants commitment, wants security, wants stability, wants marriage. I don't think that's what this Nine of Pentacles is bringing yet. 37 minutes in. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, um, wind this up. But I think this Knight of Pentacles, I think this person, I'm reading the um, Knight of Pentacles now, this person that you're involved with, um, that has been hesitating or slowing down the relationship, or that is just not, you know what I'm saying. Um, I think he's open to having a long-term relationship. It's just, he's just not quite there yet, okay? Give him some more time. You just, mo you both need to get on the same page. You really need to communicate better. You need to spend more time with one another. You need to get to know each other better. Why would you want to rush into something where you really don't know the person yet? You really don't know him yet. Or there's something about your current partner you don't, you still don't know about. But I do feel like the attraction he has for you or she has for you is extremely strong. They're not going anywhere. You kind of have to dict you're gonna have to kind of put your foot down and kind of you know get them off of pause. But I think once you do, they are they have good potential, be a good steady partner. And this person will accept you as you are. Now we got this, um, gee, I'm jumping around. Because I'm getting worried about time. Who cares? Who cares about time? We got this Knight of Wands in the uh, middle to the right. And this just tells me new love is coming in. Either the, the passion is getting renewed in your old relationship or new love is rushing in, guys. There's an there's an there is also uh, impulsivity here. You could act hasty. There's a great attraction. You got the sun. You got the empress. You got the seven of swords. Is saying you know slow down. You don't know this person yet. Slow down. You don't know everything yet. But I think you're gonna rush into bed. Possible, possibly, potential is there. Takes on a physicality. More than an emotional commitment first. Takes on a physical commitment first. So let me go down and finish up. We're on the bottom row. We've got the Hierophant here. 
The Hierophant is telling me, Scorpio, that you're tired of waiting. You don't want to wait anymore. You're tired of delays. And you're tired of setbacks. You really want a relationship that's stable, that's long-lasting, that's reliable, that's full of passion. I already said all this. And um, Hierophant is saying you need more patience. Wait for, t wait for things to develop. That's the challenge. In the center, I already told you with the Nine of, Nine of Pentacles, is this is your partner, where he's coming from. He's a good, he or she is a good person. Um, they want things to happen organically. They're not in any rush. But the, they have good qualities. They could make a good, stable partner if you can be patient and wait for them. Which you're tired of doing. Also, if it's with a new partner, this Nine, nine of Pentacles is saying that um, if you do rush into something physical with them, that don't misperceive it to be more than what it is, okay? Because you didn't take the time to get clear. Don't, don't you know, fool yourself that it's something other than, than straight sex. Queen of Hearts next to this uh, Ace, next to this Nine of Pentacles with the Seven of Hearts. I feel like Again, this is why I'm telling you, this is your card, Scorpio, the Queen of Hearts. She, this is the woman who's really, um, she acts on her, her uh, emotions, what's in her heart. She doesn't really use her head. And with next to the Knight of, Pentacle, Knight of Wands, I feel like you're going to be really impulsive. And maybe not wait for clarity. Remember that this impulsivity, this passion... This is just a moment in time. It's There's a temporary situation here, the temporary problem, and there's a temporary passion, okay? It doesn't have to, it doesn't, it's not permanent. I hope that makes sense. So, I see an offer of love coming to you with that nine of, nine of Pentacles. I see you accepting this offer with this Queen of Hearts. I feel like this new person coming in or even the old person is going to use their charm. They're going to be very seductive, very persuasive with that Knight of Wands. They're going to seduce you. They're going to charm your panties right off or your underwear right off before you even know what you're doing because Seven of Hearts is confusion. With the Six of Wands, which is your um, the environment, you're going to be really happy. you got that Four of Wands above. You're really happy. You're joyful. You're excited. You're excited about this intimacy that you're sharing. However it manifests. You consider it a victory and a breakthrough. Some of you are going to be really happy about this person that you meet. You're going to feel like you met you know, the man of your dreams or the woman of your dreams. It's a good successful outcome, you know. Really, really positive, guys. And then you got the sun. I mean, come on. The sun is success. The sun The sun is... Things getting clear. The sun is you getting a lot of attention. The sun is telling me that an old relationship gets reborn. There's a, there's a renewed confidence in a relationship. There's a renewed confidence in yourself. And there's just, uh, there's just, you know, what do you say about the sun? It's just joy. It's happiness. It's a good, successful outcome. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Scorpio. Um, I am a Scorpio, so I enjoyed it. <laughs> and I will see you in uh, May. And you have a wonderful April. And contact me if you want a personal reading. Blessings.